Bulletproof Garage. We're in Gas City, Indiana today at Brian Ballinger's place. We've got the, uh, we brought the rock out today. I bought a Volvo for just the event, bought it yesterday. It was lifted, had all, had mud tires on it and a hood stack with a turbo and I blew it up yesterday. So today we decided to bring the Challenger out instead. There's a lot of cool cars out here. You can see the great big cornfield that we're racing. It's a 14 acre cornfield and this is Brian Ballinger's place and we're going to see lots and lots of excitement today. There's, this is Brian Ballinger's car over here. He is a Rally America driver um, he has raced this car he's had this car for a while and this is his family's ace hardware that we're at today and this is his rally america car it's pretty sharp we've known brian we've been friends with brian for 10 years or so and uh this car every time you see it it looks a little bit different but he's very very fast in it tons of fun it's apparently got a new mustache today and i'm sure that between him and we've got a couple other rally drivers there's chris smith out there on the course at the moment i'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people out here moving along we'll shoot a lot of videos of stuff going real fast today we're about 25 miles north of indianapolis and you should be able to see a lot of driving we're going to do some in-car stuff we'll do some high-speed turn stuff i don't mind bringing the challenger out here it'll be a lot of fun but um it's rear wheel drive generally doesn't perform well in the dirt so we'll see how it does so we're doing a parade lap right now brian's in front and chris and we're going to go around and do kind of a slow pass around the track you'll see 14 acres i don't know how many turns are in it but this is where we're going to race at we're going to do a parade lap this is kind of the track we'll see how rough it is That makes my back hurt just looking at it. Oh, God. I have a, I have a sprint car now, and I just feel a crack. Do you? Yeah. Yeah? I got ejected back. What have you been up to? Wednesday, actually. How's yeah. it going? Good. Man? How are you?
Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is... Holy crap. Where's the water at? Yeah. Is this one of a, a zip tie? <laughs> like me with my caliper? Yeah, how many zip ties you need? I got a couple. Oh, he's duct tape. Uh, oh, he pulled the whole... Oh, bit, uh, I just the pulled the whole... Yeah. Yeah, the yeah, whole, whole CV nice. shaft. Damn. Well, I hope we can get it on the trailer. We'll get you home. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Turbo. So this is our closing video. This is the Volvo that we bought. We bought it Friday night for $600. It had swampers on it, a hood stack. It's turbo, all wheel drive. Um, spent some time putting a serpentine belt on it. Went through ser seven serpentine belts, bypassed the AC, and finally figured out a way to keep a serpentine belt on it, topped off the oil, topped off the coolant, and um, ran it pretty hard for about 30 minutes. And it started having zero oil pressure and started making knocking. So I took it and rather than drive it to Gas City, I finished it off. I went ahead and just took it out of the field and ran it as hard as I could until it blew up. And then emotions got the best of me and I accidentally dropped a block on the windshield. So this is going to the scrapyard today. Um, I'm going to keep the swampers that are on it. It's got wheel adapters. I've completely filled it up with steel to make it nice and heavy. And that's all these cars are worth at that point. You take them and you try and load them down with steel and you try and make them as heavy as you can. So you get as much money as you can. It'll still bring, so I gave $600 for it and it'll bring, uh, maybe 400 ish. There's full of metal. So what we, did, what we did end up taking was the rock, the challenger. Um, we took it, we had fun with it. It was incredibly too bumpy for it. This is a 2014 challenger. It's rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drives don't do good in the dirt, but it was good to at least add another kind of racing to the resume for the challenger. Now it's had a cornfield race in it. It's also done autocross, it's done drag racing and it did good. We drove it all the way there and back averaged about probably 80 to 85 miles an hour, 19.6 miles per gallon out of it. It drove great. Heat and AC worked good and we're real happy with it. So at least it got to add another one to its uh, resume and it got a lot of attention. We gave away a lot of stickers. Um, there's a, I've been carrying Hot Wheels with me because these little kids show up and they don't want stickers, but they do like Hot Wheels. So I carry a big bag of Hot Wheels with me. And so there it is. That was the weekend of Cornfield Racing with Brian Ballinger from Dirty Wainers. Um, He's a Rally American driver if you get a chance to check him out. And uh, thanks for watching.